applications, more commonly known as apps. Um, they are the gold standard right now for banner ads in my uh, humble, professional, been doing this 16 years type of opinion. Um, I say that humbly. I say that to uh, make sure that you know that my knowledge is good and that, um, that I'm not giving you bad data and will not lead you astray. Um, apps are the gold standard. The, the main reason is because right now when it comes to advertising and marketing, um, there is a fight for consumer attention. Um, there is a fight for getting people's attention to pay attention to you and what you're doing and what you're selling and what service that you can offer. So when it comes to uh, advertising, for instance, you have traditional uh, TV advertising um, that's out there right now. I, I just read a report on, uh, on a data website um, called eMarketer. Um, basically, they do studies and research and things like that. Um, eMarketer said their study showed that uh, close to 50% of people that watch live TV, um, if, they're, if commercial pops on, they pop out their cell phone um, and they're you know, doing something else and basically tuning out the commercial. Um, I would imagine that the other um, you know, percentages of people that are out there, they change the channel, they uh, get up, they you know, go do something else. So the odds of somebody actually um, seeing your commercial where they're you know, being exposed to it, not as high. If, so, if you're watching a video and you know, commercial pops up, a lot of times people open up another tab, go to a different website, um, and then there's the option to skip the ad. So it's really hard to get people's attention. Um, with banner ads, you have a banner ad that's out there and most people are not gonna notice the banner ad um, unless it's something that they you know, recognize and something that they've seen a few times before uh, where they you know, know what they're looking at. Um, so it's really hard to get people's attention. Um, I really believe though that uh, banner ads on apps are really the best um, way to get somebody's attention through a banner ad. Think about it. Um, and I'm not just talking about Facebook banner ads because Facebooks are completely different. Facebook, um, you, you know, you scroll down and you know there might be a banner ad. You keep, you know, person keeps scrolling, then the banner ad disappears, and that's it. You know, then then that banner ad for that person is done. That counts as a view. Um, but banner ads on apps are different. If somebody is on their cell phone, they're open up the weather app. Um, the banner ad stays on the screen no matter what tab they go on. No matter um, banner ad will usually stay up um, for you know anywhere between 15 and 30 seconds. Um, but whatever tab somebody goes to in on an app, um, no matter if they scroll up or scroll down, the banner ad stays there. Um, if you also look at the um, the space. The amount of space that the banner is on percentage-wise, um, it's 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 a lot. Like if you go on a website, the banner ad will take up like a little part, but a cell phone screen is smaller, and you have to have the banner ad large enough so that people are able to read it still. So like percentage-wise, um, the banner ad is going to take up a lot more of the screen than a banner ad would on the regular computer. Most important thing though is if you think about it. Um, when people are looking at apps, that's where their attention is. When they're going and checking the weather, when they're um, going to, uh, uh, shoot, I, I don't really use that many apps. <laughs> um, but if, thinking off the top of my head, um, if, if you use uh, exercise apps, you know, if you look at an exercise app, like that's what you're gonna look at. If, you, if you're looking at like a, a cooking app, you know, that's what you're gonna be looking at. The vast majority of people when they're on their cell phones, that's where their attention is. You know, kids, if they're on their cell phone, that's where their attention is. They're not paying attention to anybody else. They're not paying attention to their parents. Um, they're looking at the phone. So when you have somebody opening an app up, um, that's where their attention is gonna be. And they're gonna, they're gonna you know, they might not notice the banner ad at first, but the banner ad's going to be there, so whatever they're doing, they're, they're going to see the name, they're going to notice it. Um, and I think when it comes to um, building top of the mind awareness, when it comes to um, building your brand so that people recognize you more and people know your name more, um, that apps are the best way to do it. Um, and then for, you know, for your brick and mortar stores that are out there, for your retail locations that are out there, 
Um, you know, you do banner ads to people that are really close by and they know your cross streets. You know, you put on the banner ad as best you can, like, hey, we're on such and such cross street. We're on, uh, we're on Orange Avenue and First Street. And, you know, you just have those two little lines of text. You know, it's a small banner ad. You don't have to have a map. But if you just say, like, cross streets, this and this, and people know, like, hey, you know, you're really close, they might pop in. You know, it's, it's a good way to get foot traffic coming in. Um, so I, I really think that, that apps are really the best way to go with banner ads. Um, anytime we do banner ads for companies, we like to cherry pick what we're doing. So we really like to um, cherry pick big brand name websites because those are always fun to advertise on. Um, it's always fun to, to see a banner ad for your company pop up on a big uh, sports website or news website. Um, so that you can say like, hey, you know, like I, I'm, my business has been on ESPN, my business has been on, uh, you know, AnaheimDucks.com, you know, check it out. It makes your company seem like a bigger deal. Uh, but then when it comes to effectiveness also, um, you know, the apps are really where you want to advertise on. So that's, you know, that's what we recommend and that's what I think the gold standard is as of right now.